Welcome to this year's virtual Advent candlelight service. We are so excited to be celebrating with you, whether you're participating on Christmas Eve or later during Christmas Tide. Join us as we celebrate the Nativity story through scripture and song. Joyful and triumphant, O oh, come ye, O oh, come ye to Bethlehem. Come and behold him, born the King of angels. O oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Cry, ask the Lord. Sing, choirs of angels. Sing in exaltation. Sing, all ye citizens of heaven above. Glory to God, all glory in the highest. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him, Christ the Lord. During the rule of Herod, king of Judea, there was a priest assigned service in the regiment of Abijah. His name was Zechariah. His wife was descended from their daughters of Aaron. Her name was Elizabeth. Together they lived honorably before God, careful in keeping to the ways of the commandments, and enjoying a clear conscience before God. But they were childless, because Elizabeth could never conceive, and now they were quite old. It so happened that as Zechariah was carrying out his priestly duties before God, working the shift assigned to his regiment, it came his one turn in life to enter the sanctuary of God and burn incense. The congregation was gathered and praying outside the temple at the hour of the incense offering. Unannounced, an angel of God appeared just to the right of the altar of incense. Zechariah was paralyzed in fear. But the angel reassured him, Don't fear, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Elizabeth, your wife, will bear a son by you. You are to name him John. You're going to leap like a gazelle for joy. And not only you, many will delight in his birth. He'll achieve great stature with God. He'll drink neither wine nor beer. He'll be filled with the Holy Spirit from the moment he leaves his mother's womb. He will turn many sons and daughters of Israel back to their God. He will herald God's arrival in the style and strength of Elijah, soften the hearts of parents to children, and kindle devout understanding among hardened skeptics. He'll get the people ready for God. Zechariah said to the angel, Do you expect me 
to believe this? I am an old man, and my wife is an old woman. But the angel said, I am Gabriel, the sentinel of God, sent especially to bring you this glad news. But because you won't believe me, you'll be unable to say a word until the day of your son's birth. Every word I've spoken to you will come true on time, God's time. Meanwhile, the congregation waiting for Zechariah was getting restless, wondering what was keeping him so long in the sanctuary. When he came out and couldn't speak, they knew he had seen a vision. He continued speechless and had to use sign language with the people. When the course of his priestly assignment was completed, he went back home. It wasn't long before his wife Elizabeth conceived. She went off by herself for five months, relishing her pregnancy. So, this is how God acts to remedy my unfortunate condition. She said. O little town of Bethlehem, how still we see thee lie. Above thy deep and dreamless sleep The silent stars go by Yet in thy dark streets shineth The everlasting light The hopes and fears in all the years Are met in thee tonight O holy child of Bethlehem, descend to us, we pray. Cast out our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, the great glad tidings tell. O come to us, Abide with us, our Lord, Emmanuel. In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to the Galilean village of Nazareth. To a virgin, engaged to be married to a man descended from David. His name was Joseph, and the virgin's name Mary. Upon entering, Gabriel greeted her. Good morning. You're beautiful with God's beauty. Beautiful inside and out. God be with you. She was thoroughly shaken wondering what was behind a greeting like that. But the angel assured her, Mary, you have nothing to fear. God has a surprise for you. You will become pregnant and give birth to a son and call his name Jesus. He will be great, be called Son of the Highest. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David. He will rule Jacob's house forever. No end ever to his kingdom. Mary said to the angel, But how I've never slept with a man? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come upon you. The power of the highest hover over you. Therefore, the child you bring to birth will be called Holy Son of God. 
And did you know that your cousin Elizabeth conceived a son? Old as she is, everyone called her barren. And here she is, six months pregnant. Nothing, you see, is impossible with God. And Mary said, yes, I see it all now. I'm the Lord's maid, ready to serve. Let it be with me just as you say. Then the angel left her. Away in a manger, no crib for bed. The little Lord Jesus laid down his sweet head. The stars in the sky looked down where he lay. The little Lord Jesus asleep on the hay. The cattle are lowing, the baby awakes. But little Lord Jesus, no crying. He makes, I love thee, Lord Jesus, look down from the sky and stay by my cradle till morning is nigh. Be near me, Lord Jesus, I ask thee to stay. Close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and fit us for heaven to live with thee there. Mary didn't waste time, not even a minute. She got up and traveled to a town in Judah in the hill country, straight to Zechariah's house, and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby in her womb leaped. She was filled with the Holy Spirit and sang out exuberantly, you're so blessed among women, and the babe in your womb also blessed. And why am I so blessed that the mother of my Lord visits me? The moment the sound of your greeting entered my ears, the baby in my womb skipped like a lamb for sheer joy. Blessed woman, who believed what God said, believed every word would come true. And Mary said, I'm bursting with God news. I'm dancing the song of my Savior, your God. God took one good look at me, and look what happened. I'm the most fortunate woman on earth. What God has done for me will never be forgotten. The God whose very name is holy, set apart from all others. His mercy flows in wave after wave on those who are in awe before him. He bared his arm and showed his strength. Scattered the bluffing braggers, he knocked tyrants off their high horses, pulled victims out of the mud. The starving poor sat down to a banquet. The callous rich were left out in the cold. He embraced his chosen child, Israel. He remembered and piled on mercies, piled them high. It's exactly what he promised. 
beginning with Abraham, and right up to now. Mary stayed with Elizabeth for three months and then went back to her own home. The first Noel the angel did say Was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay In fields where they lay keeping their sheep On a cold winter's night they were so deep Noel, 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 Noel Born is the King of Israel The first Noel the angel did say was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep nowhere 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 Born is the King of Israel. Amen. Mm. Mm. Amen. When Elizabeth was full term in her pregnancy. She bore a son. Her neighbors and rela relatives, seeing that God had overwhelmed her with mercy, they celebrated with her. On the eighth day, they came to circumcise the child and were calling him Zechariah after his father, but his mother intervened. No, he is to be called John. But, they said, no one in your family is named that. They used sign language to ask Zechariah what he wanted him named. Asking for a tablet, Zechariah wrote, his name is to be John. That took everyone by surprise, Surprise followed surprise. Zechariah's mouth was now open, his tongue loose, and he was talking, praising God. A deep, reverential fear settled over the neighborhood. And in all that Judean hill country, people talked about nothing else. Everyone who heard about it took it to heart, wondering, what will become of this child? Clearly, God has his hand in this. Then Zechariah was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He came and set his people free. He set the power of salvation in the center of our lives and in the very house of David, his servant, just as he promised long ago through the preaching of his holy prophets. Deliverance from our enemies 
and every hateful hand, mercy to our fathers as he remembers to do what he said he'd do, what he swore to our father Abraham, clean rescue from the enemy camp, so we can worship him without a care in the world made holy before him as long as we live. And you, my child, prophet of the highest, will go ahead of the master to prepare his way. Present the offer of salvation to his people, the forgiveness of their sins, through the heartfelt mercies of our God, God's sunrise will break in upon us, shining on those in the darkness, those sitting in the shadow of death, then showing us the way one foot at a time down the path of peace. The child grew up healthy and spirited. He lived out in the desert until the day he made his prophetic debut in Israel. Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born While shepherds kept their watching O'er silent flocks by night Behold, throughout the heavens There shone a holy light Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born The shepherds feared and trembled When low above the earth Rang out the angel chorus That hailed our Savior's birth Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born Down in a lowly manger Our humble Christ was born And God sent us salvation That blessed Christmas morn Go tell it on the mountain Over the hills and everywhere Go tell it on the mountain That Jesus Christ is born Jesus Christ is born About that time Caesar Augustus ordered a census to be taken throughout the empire. This was the first census when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to travel to his own ancestral hometown to be accounted for. So Joseph went from the Galilean town of Nazareth up to Bethlehem in Judah, David's town, for that census. As a descendant of David, he had to go there. He went with Mary, his fiancée, who was pregnant. While they were there, the time came for her to give birth. She gave birth to a son, her firstborn. She wrapped him in a blanket and laid him in a manger because there was no room in the hotel. There were shepherders camping in the neighborhood 
They had set night watches over their sheep. Suddenly, God's angel stood among them, and God's glory blazed around them. Oh, they were terrified. The angel said, don't be afraid. I'm here to announce a great and joyful event that is meant for everybody worldwide. A savior has just been born in David's town, a savior who is Messiah and master. This is what you're to look for, a baby wrapped in a blanket and lying in a manger. At once, the angel was joined by a huge angelic choir singing God's praises, glory to God in the heavenly heights, peace to all men and women on earth who please him. As the angel choir withdrew into heaven, the shepherders talked it over. Let's get over to Bethlehem as fast as we can and see for ourselves what God has revealed to us. They left, running, and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in the manger. Seeing was believing. They told everyone they met what the angels had said about this child, and all who heard the shepherders were impressed. Mary kept all these things to herself, holding them dear, deep within herself. The shepherders returned and let loose, glorifying and praising God for everything they had heard and seen. It turned out exactly the way they've been told. my privilege to give the last Advent testimony about how Christ has been revealed to me in my life. There are people among us, folks that some call saints and Mr. Rogers called helpers, and I kind of think of them as angels on earth and I've been very blessed, darn lucky because I married one, but I was asked to talk about the most recent of, of this experience. And so I wanna talk about uh, a lady who I came to know through Audrey's Outreach, the ministry that's uh, administered in this church. And uh, we got to know her because she was doing other ministries and just happened to uh, coordinate call one time to ask what we could do to uh, help another um, shelter women's shelter here in town well after that she became a regular and um, got to know her and she was friendly not so much a deep friend at the time but but still um, a friend and that was enough but as you know uh, Maybe you don't know, but I had a very difficult summer fighting a pretty nasty infection. Spent the better part of three months getting IV antibiotics at home and kind of knocked down even with the COVID situation to the point where I really wasn't able to venture out much. Well, Nancy decided she was going to send me a card. And so I got a card from her. and. It, it wasn't much of a card. It was just one of those 49 cent specials that you get at Dollar Tree. And she knew that we had a dog who we really love. And so it was a dog card. And it was just the silliest thing. And she signed it, thinking of you, love, Nancy. And so I didn't really think much of it. I looked at it and said, great, no problem. Well, sure enough, you know, later on that week, I get another card. <laughs> it's, it's another dog card, and it's signed, Thinking of You, Love, Nancy. And the next week, I get another card. <laughs> and later on in that week, another card. 
and so on and so forth for the entire summer. I don't know that Nancy will ever know how much I got to looking forward to those silly little cards. Nancy is no longer with us. At the time, she was in great pain, struggling with terminal cancer. And among other things that she did here around the church, just because she loved us, um, one of the things was actually cutting down all of the cattails that lined our, our fence, the length of our parking lot. They were growing over and encroaching on, on the parking lot, and she took it upon herself to cut all those down. And what I didn't even realize is she cut them all by hand on her knees the entire length of the parking lot. I, can't, I don't even know how long it took her, but she did it just because she loved us. When Nancy was on her deathbed, because I'm a nurse, I was asked if I would spell some of the caregivers. And so I went over there and spent a half a day um, giving her care as she lay dying. And as I looked around her apartment, what did I see? But I saw shelf upon shelf and cabinet upon cabinet of, of crafty things and cards. Lots of silly little cards. And at her funeral, we heard testimonies like mine from so many people about how she just did little acts of kindness that changed their lives and brought them closer to the Christ child. And so I can't tell you enough. If only we could be more like Nancy a step and do little acts of kindness for those around us. How brightly Christ could shine in this world and in others' lives. And it is in her honor that I light the last candle of Advent, the candle for Christ. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, holy infant so tender and mild. Sleep in heavenly peace. Sleep in heavenly peace. Silent night, holy night. Shepherd quake at the side. Glory stream from heaven afar. Heavenly host sing Alleluia. Christ 
is the Savior is born. Christ the Savior is born. Silent night, holy night, star of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face, with the dawn of redeeming grace. Lord, at thy birth, Jesus, Lord, at thy birth, silent night, holy night, wondrous star, lend thy Alleluia to our King. Christ the Savior is born. Oh, Christ the Savior is born. Please pray with me. God and Maker of all, to redeem the world, you choose the most unsuspecting of women. To mother your son. And by your choice, gave new glory to human flesh and earthly parenting. With the joy that was Mary's, may our souls magnify the Lord. And our bodies be the means through which you continue the mighty work of salvation for which Christ came. Amen. Go. Tell it on the mountain. Love God. Love neighbors. Make disciples. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Amen. Amen. Merry Christmas.